We're back. To the dismay of actual electricians across the world, we are doing it again, folks. We're charging my Tesla with another completely unnecessary technique because... Well, because there's a pandemic going on and I don't have anything better to do, but also these vids bang, so can you blame me? And in this case, I genuinely learned to appreciate the power we have available in a new light. Because let me tell you, if we had to power everything manually, we'd be absolutely screwed. Jacked out of our minds, but screwed. So today, I am going to be powering my Tesla with my own two legs on a bike by biking, locked in a position like a workout bike that powers my Tesla. You get it. Let's get started. <laughs> Yo, yo, Jay, I know we're doing electricity today, but can you please stop shocking me? Please, please, we have to unbox something. It's really cool. Can I just, can I get to it? Ugh. Yo, I said stop shocking me. I know what we're gonna be unboxing is shocking. <laughs> See, I'm... Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about shocking now. We have some very interesting things today. As you can tell, we're back with another charging my Tesla video. And today, as I explained earlier, I'm going to be charging my Tesla, but we need a very important piece of equipment in order to make that happen. And that's what we have in this box right here. Now this is called the Pocket USB Socket by Ktor. So basically you can bring this with you anywhere you go. And if you run out of power, your phone dies, whatever it is, you can use this to charge your device. Device. Now it's relatively small, so there's only a certain amount of power you can get with it. It's essentially a hand crank and it says it can power a wide range of mobile devices, including lights, spare batteries, cameras, smartphones, radios, gaming devices, tablets, all of that fun stuff. So we're gonna put it to the test now because we're gonna be charging something significantly larger later on in the video and we gotta make sure it at least works with what it says it's gonna work. Do you think it's gonna work? It actually works. I mean, this is a lot of work to charge your phone. Okay, let's see how fast. Can I just do it at this speed? Okay, it's working right now at this speed. I Like, I think you'd have to do this for a really long time to fully charge your phone. But if you just need a little bit of emergency juice, pretty big vibe. Something tells me this isn't gonna work for the Tesla though, because it only gives us one amp. So I'd be doing this for a really, really long time <laughs> in order to charge my Tesla. But fortunately, we have something a little bit bigger from the same company. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this series and you wanna see me try charging my Tesla with something else, be sure to comment any ideas you have in the comment section down below. And hopefully Elon sees this video just like he saw our last Tesla related video. If you didn't know, Elon must notice us. <laughs> I'm gonna drop that whenever I can. There's gonna be some assembly involved with this one. Essentially, we're moving from a hand crank to a pedal or foot crank. And this should enable us to build our own bike that we can use to power my Tesla. That's right, but I know it sounds ambitious Ambitious and it's I don't really know exactly how this is gonna work yet, but it's gonna work Because if there's one thing I know everything I do it works. Jay's looking at me skeptically I don't know why you might notice not looking at the instructions. I don't like instructions. Just kidding. I love instructions Okay, I'm gonna look at the instructions. All right, so as you can see we've got our little pedal system set up You can actually use your arms. You can also obviously use it with your feet kind of like a bike pedal. And if you guys weren't aware, the muscles in your legs are way larger than the muscles in your arms, unless you look like this guy, in which case, come on, man, leg day. It's there for a reason. I'm trying to film here, you're just, just beeping. Like, I don't think they can see you. Get back to work. Oh, you wanna play games? You wanna play games? You wanna play games? Yeah. Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Just, just wait and see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, now that we've got this set up, we are going to test it out and see if we can charge anything with it. So in order to charge it, we've got this little device here. You guys might recognize it from a car, uh, often used for the lighter insert so that you can charge various things. And we are gonna try and charge my phone again. As you guys might be able to see, hopefully you can see it is charging again. Uh, not having this secured in place makes it significantly harder. It's literally just like piercing my stomach right now, but that's okay because I really need to charge my phone. It's honestly a little bit easier, especially if you just kind of drilled this into the ground or put more weight on it so it didn't move around so much. Whew, that's harder than I thought. So we've proved that with our hand crank, we can charge the phone and with our PowerBox 50, both by Ktor. Big thanks to them for actually giving us these products for the video. We can power my cell phone, but can we power a Tesla? 
So the PowerBox 50 works like a generator in a dam. Inside there are magnets, and as I rotate the pedals, the magnets move past the copper wire within the box, creating a current which is regulated to 14 volts. The adapter then converts that down to five volts in order to charge your phone. So we can charge our phone, but we obviously need to charge some larger items, including household items, especially a coffee maker. So we're gonna start with a lamp. Now you might notice, well, you probably can't really see too much. There's no regular outlet for us to plug directly into our PowerBox 50, and that's where where our power inverter comes into play. So we plug our power inverter into our power box 50. And now when we pedal, it will allow us to power our small everyday household items like this lamp. And on the seventh day, Sean said, let there be light. Oh, you see the power coming out of my hand. I feel like Goku right now. Not quite as cool. This isn't a Kamehameha, but it's pretty close and then it goes out. Now we got one bulb going, so we're gonna turn on the other and see if we can get both. Yeah, baby! So as you can see, we are now able to power our everyday household items, the, the small ones. Not like your dryer, this is probably not gonna work yet. Okay. I wanna make light. Oh, okay. Just can't make light. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got the magic touch. Did I break it? Oh. What? No, you did break it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not as good as me at this stuff. It's just, I don't have an explanation. Now this is great and all, but in order to produce any level of sustained power, I'm gonna be very jacked or very exhausted, probably the latter. So we're gonna use my legs. Now this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, we've got the same setup, all the same stuff. We've just attached a little wooden board so it stays in place. And now I can use my legs. Oh man, now this I could do all day, except for the fact that my wheelchair is pulling back. One second. Now I'm vibing, there's light coming, I'm still moving. Okay, it's still not perfect, but it's definitely easier. I might have to make a few more changes, but as you can see, this is a way more efficient way of powering it just by using my legs and we can do better. Now, as you can see, we've added a very small little component to our setup right here. We have a mini battery, or as I like to call it, a baby battery. And as you might've noticed when we've been doing all the pedaling, especially with the lamp, it starts to go in and out because I can't pedal perfectly consistently. And this is going to help with that. So what's happening now is the power generated from our PowerBox 50 is going into both our power inverter and our little battery and then going into our lamp, which is giving us a more steady stream so that it's not flickering the entire time. So I do have to pedal a little bit to get it going. Faster. 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 Ah, keep going. This isn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be in the wheelchair. And as you can see, we've got light, even though I'm not pedaling because it went into the battery and it's stored there for a little bit so we can get some light even while I stop. I can take a break, have a drink of water, and then come back and pedal some more. And it's just getting more power, so that's why it's getting brighter. How am I gonna power my Tesla like this? <laughs> as much as this is working better, I still think we have some improvements we need to make. If we're gonna power something a little bigger, I think it's time we get something built for pedaling. So if you guys remember this video, we are currently in the storage unit we bought from China and I'm going to attempt to power all the lights that are in here. It's kind of dark right now. And as you saw earlier, I got a bike to make this, well, hopefully a little bit easier. Got a bit of an impromptu setup here. Our little, what do you call these? Our little exercise bike. Now I can pedal on my bike. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be better, okay. So this is gonna connect us to all the lights in the room and we're gonna have a party. Sorry for the echo, uh, we just had to do it. But way easier to pedal, and as you can see, I am powering my very own party. And now it's time to see if we can power some more items. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all waited for. It's time to make, I guess it would be sweat coffee? I, I don't know. Now, as you've seen, we can charge phones. We can power. Hey, Sean, can you drop the coffee? Why? So you explain what you're doing. 
I can explain while holding the coffee. Okay. Are you jealous? N no. You no. look jealous. No, I'm not. No. It's okay if you're jealous. I'm not. It's it's okay. It's, it's I, it's we have a special relationship. We have a special relationship. Okay. I understand. Okay. Ours right. is special okay. too. Okay. Okay. Fine. We, fine. I can, it's, it's I can fine. have special it's relationships. Fine. I'll explain. put it down. I'll Go. put it down. I'll okay. put it down. All right. Feel better? Yeah. Okay. Now, as you guys know, in this series, we always make a lovely cup of Joe, and we see how it compares to regular Joe versus solar powered Joe and wind turbine powered Joe. And now we get sweat Joe. I, I'm, it's a working title. Don't worry. We'll come up with something better. But this is where we run into our first issue. Obviously, we can charge our phone. We can power small household items like a lamp. We can even power an entire room filled with lights. But we've got an issue when it comes to powering something like a coffee maker. So the coffee maker takes about a thousand watts in order to function and our generator can only create 40. As you can tell, there's a bit of a gap. Basically, we need a bigger battery in order to store the power before it goes into our coffee maker. But I'm not gonna go into all the details of watts and volts and amps and all of that. I'm going to instead explain it to you with water. So this is our generator and it produces power this fast. It's not very fast, but it's still producing something. Now, in order to power larger items, we've got to put it into our battery, which is this, this jug. Go faster, okay. As this accumulates more and more power, we can use it to power larger items, which need power produced at this rate. This is our coffee machine. This is the battery. This is the power generator. I hope it was easier to understand this time, but I'm really doubting it now. Either way, let's make some coffee. All right, so as you can see, we uh, had to make some upgrades to our inverter and our battery in order to actually create this coffee. And it is now time to start pedaling. Basically, the way this works is for every minute I want this coffee maker to work, I need to pedal for 25 minutes. I think about a minute should be good to make a coffee. So this is going to be the longest I've ever had to work to make a coffee. I feel like Peter McKinnon probably takes this long every time he makes a coffee. Shall we begin? <laughs> It's been 25 minutes, yeah? This coffee better be good. I'm done? It's been two minutes. Oh. Right? Oh, you want to swap? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. All right, I'm done. I hate you. Holy hell, how's it only been two more minutes? This is the hardest video I've ever done. Smash the like button right now. I'm actually biking for 25 minutes to make coffee for you guys. Well, for myself too, because I do love coffee. This feels awkward. I feel like we're staring into each other's souls right now. This is intimate. Is it weird? It's probably weird. Okay. I'll stop staring at you. So I'm staring at me. 10 minutes left. I'm surprised I made it this far, to be honest. I thought I was going to collapse five minutes in. Oh. Two. One. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That better be enough. I don't even want coffee anymore. I want water. I'm gonna take a breather. I'm gonna see if the coffee machine is ready to make me some coffee. Cause god damn it, I deserve it. I swear if this thing doesn't turn on, I'm gonna lose it. Yes, we have power. Do we have enough to make coffee? I'm gonna do this quick. Ladies and gentlemen, we have coffee. Sweat coffee. Ew. We need a better bite coffee. Um, manual labor coffee. <laughs> Branding this one is gonna be a little bit harder than the others, but I have a feeling it might taste better knowing that you put in all that extra work not that Well, not what again? It's gonna taste better. It's the same thing. It's okay. Jay, don't be one of the people in the comments telling me It's the same thing because we know it's not we had the solar coffee. It was way better than regular coffee Okay, all right. The, only the sun gives us life. The only difference is that this might be salty. But... Maybe better. I've never had salt in my coffee. Oh my God. <laughs> Probably ew. not good. Ew, 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 ew. It smells a little bit like B.O., but that might just be me. Yeah, I think it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. It's too hot to taste. I just burnt my tongue. Oh, let me give it a second. Well, what, you guys waited while I biked for 25 minutes, okay? You can wait for three more seconds while my coffee cools down. And by we, I mean, you, Jay, you can wait. Look at, if you could see this smug look on his face. What do you got to do? Right, Drink it already. Come on. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. I'm telling you, there's something about this differently powered coffee. It just hits different. It's, where are you going? I'm sorry. You, I'm, I'm trying to talk to the people about my sweat coffee. I really think this could revolutionize the coffee industry. We're on a path right now. Any investors out there that want to invest in my sweat renewable coffee. energy created sweat, sweat coffee or, or solar, any of the renewable energy. I think it's a whole brand, to be honest. I see this. I feel like a visionary right now. I'm not sure if you guys are following along, but if you are an investor out there, Starbucks, Tim Hortons, hit me up. I got you. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my sweat coffee. 
You know what, folks? I don't need investors. We're launching Sweat Coffee today. Roll the clip. <laughs> Salty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've powered my phone. We've powered a lamp. We've powered a room. We've even made sweat coffee. But what we're all here for is to power my Tesla. That's right. It took me 25 minutes to power a coffee maker and I am somehow going to power a Tesla. But obviously we've got a few uh, potential hiccups that could impede our process uh, along the way. So let me uh, explain this to you. If you guys remember, this is our generator. It produces a steady rate of energy, which goes into our battery. We've got a bike for 25 minutes, as you guys remember, in order to fill this up to the necessary amount in order to power our coffee maker. Now, when it comes to a Tesla, we've got to run this for a lot, a lot longer. The reason being, let me just, let me show you. If this is our coffee maker, this is our Tesla. So. We need a lot more water to fill this up, aka a lot more power and a lot more time of me biking. Oh God. And in this case, even if we did fill it all the way up, it's still basically a drop in the barrel. We've got to fill this up and empty it out a lot, like a lot. I don't even know how many, just a lot. Let me, let me give you a math breakdown. So I had to bike for 25 minutes in order to plug the coffee maker into an outlet for one minute and create coffee. When it comes to charging the Tesla, we need to leave it plugged into the outlet for 30 minutes to get one mile. Okay. That means I basically have to bike 30 times the amount in order to charge my Tesla, which would be 750 minutes or 12 and a half hours. Oh my God. Obviously my initial goal of fully charging my Tesla might be a little out of reach, but I'm not giving up and this is probably gonna take a, a few weeks or maybe maybe a few months. Okay, let's get started. So over the course of the next week, every day when I came into the office, I biked and I made everybody else bike as well. And um, well, this is how much we've got done so far. All right, guys, it's been a week. Thank you to the team for helping out. We biked, I, I honestly don't know, maybe let's say around 10 hours worth. We've got at least one battery charge, probably a little bit more than that. If we were to fully charge my Tesla, we would have had to bike a, just a small, a minuscule 1,000 hours. If you uh, expand that out, it would take us about two years at this pace to fully charge the Tesla. You know, my initial goal might have been a little bit lofty, but this did get me thinking. This is one of these Powerbox 50s, but if we had, let's say, 30 and we set them up, in the mall and we had some of you guys come through and if we all together over the course of a week or a month use the bikes we might actually be able to collectively get to those 1000 hours that we need in order to fully charge my tesla so if you guys want to see a part two to this video where we get a whole bunch more of these set them up in the mall and you guys can all come in and i'll, I'll help too i'll bike too jay's gonna bike too right Okay, I'll bike with you guys. We'll hang out and we will charge my Tesla together. If you guys want to see that and you want to be a part of it, be sure to smash the like button down below. If we can get over 50,000 likes on this video, we will be back with a part two and you guys are going to have a chance to be in the video. But we were able to fully charge a battery and a little bit more than that. So before I get all of you guys in to help me out with this, I should probably make sure that this is actually gonna work. All right, folks, we've got our three battery approach. You might remember from our solar powered video. This is gonna allow us to charge the Tesla. And um, I'm not really gonna be doing much by biking. If you guys remember how little biking really does in small amounts, but for moral support, I will be biking while we try to charge the Tesla. Here we go. As you guys might've noticed, we have a long, 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 long line of extension cords connecting out to the Tesla right now. And Jay's gonna go plug it in and see if it works. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, oh yeah, 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 it's working, it's working. Is it? Yeah. Ah, ah, it's working. Look at here, Chad. Chad, yeah. Green, green, green. Is it working? Yep, 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 it's it's working. working. Oh, let's go, baby, we got the green. We. Oh, thank God. I biked way too long for this to not work. All right, well, that means we can do it. If we get all of you guys in to help me out for like a week or so, we could probably fully charge my Tesla. So again, if you guys want to see that, smash the like button. What did we learn from today's video? Generating power yourself is not efficient at all. It takes way too long. So let's uh, let's let's leave it to the sun and the wind and uh, the water. We haven't done yet. If you guys want to see us do that, be sure to smash the like button as well. And with that being said, I am so excited to never bike again or at least until part two of this video. How about you, Jen? Never. <laughs> I got enough exercise this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you are new. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.